Belfouche, South Dakota. Playing Santa is a full-time job for Jim Emery. I have a lot of fun doing it. I can just, a lot of kids that don't believe in it, by the time I get done, I can get them believing. You ready to eat some food, huh? The only thing this Santa loves more than his job is his reindeer, especially Casper. Casper was a real friendly reindeer. Casper was, uh, would have been a good Rudolph, he just didn't have a shiny red nose. He was one of my buddies. But all that changed the day that Casper went bad. I never in a hundred years I'd ever thought he had did what he did. 6.30 a.m. As he does every day, Jim goes out to feed his herd. But he forgets that it's mating season and steps too close to Casper's favorite female, Blossom. So Casper goes on the attack. And he just hit me and run me out of the trail. I stayed on my feet for a long time, hanging on to his horns, just backing up. I just hung on for dear life. But Jim can't hold off the animal much longer. Suddenly, the angry reindeer grinds him into the dirt. His neighbors, Debbie and Christine Heidrich, hear Jim's screams and rush to his aid. And I could see the reindeer had Jim down. I could see horns sticking everywhere, and I didn't know if they were through him or, or what. It looked like it was killing him. By now, the savage attack has gone on for more than 30 minutes. The adrenaline was going so bad that I never even felt any horns go in me. I was just scared to let go. I couldn't get my leg loose because I had a horn to the calf of my leg. Jim fears he won't see another Christmas. It went through my head. I said, I wonder how my mother will bury me. She'll bury me in my Santa Claus suit or what? Attention, Belfour Search and Rescue. You're needed at the Jim Emery residence, south on 85. We have a reindeer on the rampage. It's attacking a subject. Search and Rescue, respond to the Jim Emery residence. Police Captain Larry Roberdeau arrives on the scene. 151B1, I'm 1097 out here at Emery's. will be out of the car. With all my years of law enforcement, this is the most bizarre case I've ever uh, been on involving a reindeer and a man. Jim was laying on the ground, locked up in the horns, and I had a hold of the horns, and he was dragging both of us backwards. Pulled us like we, we were nothing. Nearly an hour and a half into the struggle, more help arrives. But even the strength of three men can't contain Casper's rage. Finally, one of the men manages to hogtie the beast. Bruised and bloody, Jim staggers over to a waiting ambulance. As he's treated for his injuries, Jim gets the bad news. Casper, once the most gentle deer in the herd, has suffered a fatal heart attack. When they come up and told me he died, it just made me sick. I just, I just had a lost feeling, you know, because he was a good reindeer for everybody. He was a very good animal. But what's even more shocking than the attack is what happened next. My dad cooked him up, so that's what we did with him. And he tasted real good. Although it's Santa's job to know who's been naughty and who's been nice, Jim should have known that when you try to make a wild animal into a pet, you have to be prepared to suffer the consequences. Help!